Hey guys, it's Jason here. I've been seeing this book, this photo book that's been going around the interwebs and I wanted to see it for myself. <laughs> I saw the book on Polly B's channel as well as I think on Threads and I wanted to see it for myself so I bought one called Ward 81 Voices by Mary Ellen Mark and Carl Folger Jacobs. So this is my first look at it as well. Come take a peek with me. Mm, fresh wrapping paper. So this book is actually written. Uh, this actually is not written. It's a, it's a photo book by a photojournalist named Mary Ellen Mark. She also was known for her portraitures and her advertising photography. She was an American photographer. So in 1975, Mary was assigned by the Pennsylvania Gazette to cover the story for the film um, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Uh, that's a very famous film. I also watched it as well. I don't remember what it's about, but it's a very good film. I, was, I watched it like in high school or something and I thought it was very interesting. This psych ward or this, the mental institution was located in Oregon State and it had mainly women. They were considered a danger to themselves or others, which is basically true to this day. Um, people, the, the officials use a 5150 to put people in psych wards. You can obviously volunteer. Um, to put yourself in a psych ward, which I would never do that, but usually people are put into psych wards because of a 5150, which means you're a danger to yourself or others. In this video, I'm going to go over my impressions of this book and also maybe my experiences of visiting a psych ward three times in my life. So here we go. To the woman of Ward 81, Jacob. People are usually locked when they're in a mental institution. They are, it's almost like a prison, but not really. Um, you're locked in the facility and people will usually try to start fires or things like that to escape the mental institution. But um, usually it's locked down. There's usually two doors two sets of doors that are keeping you in or a security guard and, a, and or a security guard. There was a TV when I went there. They also have radio sometimes. There's a lot of strange things going on. A lot of solidarity. Wow. They usually ban smoking in the, the more recent psych wards but I did have one psych ward where I went to by USC and they did allow smoking there. I may or may not have partaken in smoking. This is a very terrible place to be in the psych ward. Uh, nobody in their right mind would want to go there. That's a joke. It's not a joke also but there's a lot of free time. Smoking in modern psych wars is not allowed, but I guess it was allowed back then. Obviously it was back allowed in the 60s. Again, more smoking. Usually we have to wear uh, garbs or the gowns um, in the psych wards. Some, some places don't require the gowns. Some people wear it, some people don't wear it. I wore sweatpants and sweater sometimes. Sometimes I wore the gown well-known picture or something. It pops up everywhere on my social media. This guy seems like he, it's a woman, it's a woman. <laughs> she seems very drowsy, sleepy. My experience of a psych ward, there was not much sleep you can get as there was a lot of noises of people, patients in the psych ward making noises as well as other things. And the beds are very uncomfortable. They're almost like cots. <clears throat> They're almost like cots on a wooden frame 
like very thin mattresses. They're very uncomfortable. Um, you're also zonked out on meds. They would never let scissors allowed in the modern psych wards uh, for obvious reasons. These pictures are very moving. They're very shocking. They're very, very intense photos. Voice recordings, but I'm not gonna go over it right now because I can't put all that in the video. We would usually have to share rooms with like six other people, um, like six or ten beds in one room sometimes. Which share like it's almost like a dormitory. I have a story where I was uh, acting up with the nurses and they shot me up with drugs. It was not a fun time, but they shot me up with drugs. They strapped me to a chair or strapped me to a bed, and I had to ha take a high dosage of medication starting from then. The longest I've been in a psych ward is two weeks out of the three times I've been there. It almost seems like she has a vacant soul. Again, these meds are very strong. And in the 60s, I don't know, they probably use even stronger meds. And like, I just, it's just crazy what they go through. This one, she seems like, it's almost as if like it's her own bedroom. Maybe she's there for the long term. She's missing an arm. A lot of strong emotions portrayed in these images. Sadness or surprise. This one's a little scary. This one's really creepy. <sighs> these kind of images freak me out. <laughs> Anger and frustration? I don't know. They, some of these psych wards have outdoor patios, usually don't because people try to escape from them in the modern ones. Aww. Oh my gosh. I was strapped to a bed, but it wasn't like in this way. <laughs> the bed was literally made to strap people. So I was like strapped. Oh wait, no. They strapped me to the frames of the bed. Oh yeah. That was a very strong image back there. Just the emotions on these faces are just so... Okay, I think I will stop it there. I will not go over the whole book. Um, if you are interested in this book you should buy the book this book is very powerful and has very strong images um, can also be triggering for some people but it really shows the inside of a psych ward in the 1960s I've never been in the psych ward in the 1960s but it seems to portray the, the emotions that these women or non-emotions that these women are going through in the psych ward as they try to get better. So that's the video on <clears throat> the book Ward 81, Voices. I do have a little bit of something to say about mental health 
and that is mental health is just as important as your physical health. It is something you should take care of and it is something you should prioritize. Mental health is something you should prioritize as much as your physical health. Taking care of your mental health is an act of self-love. Mental health can be very serious for some people, for a lot of people, whether you have anxiety or depression or bipolar or schizophrenia. I hope that if you guys are struggling with mental health issues, you guys will talk to someone you love or talk to a therapist, get connected with a therapist or a psychiatrist. Thank you guys for watching my video. That is all I have for today. Mental health is a serious issue. Take it seriously. Just like your physical health. That's all. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.